When we consider the immense contribution which Northern Ireland prison staff have made in the past and are making right now under quite difficult circumstances, I think it's right that we should do everything we can to support them. They're providing a vital public service. They work in a challenging, complex and sometimes volatile environment and they deal with some of the most difficult and dangerous members of our community in a way that is professional, compassionate and caring. That's why today I'm announcing a menu of measures to enhance support for serving and retired prison staff. Last year, I commissioned a review to ascertain if there is more that could or should be done to help frontline staff. Today, I'm publishing the two reports and it's hard to disagree with any of the recommendations they contain. For serving prison staff, the report makes 12 recommendations and while many will be straightforward to implement, others will take more time because services will have to be procured and additional funding secured. For retired prison officers, the report also highlighted the lack of bespoke services um, for support available when you compare, for example, to former members of the police service. That's something that must and will be addressed. One thing is also very clear. There is no quick or easy solution. This menu of measures is needed if we're to support our prison staff in the way that we should. That is what these reports highlight and that is what I am committed to providing as we move forward. I very much value the work of Northern Ireland Prison Service staff and I want through this review to ensure that they are receiving all of the support that they need to do a very challenging and complex job on behalf of us all in our community.